I have decided we are going with the splinter. So let's begin. This episode is focused around a splinter. The episode first starts off with Spongebob pretty much having a lot of fun with doing the crusty crowd work. It's honestly kind of entertaining and fun to watch. However though, for some reason the spatula eventually gets stuck on the ceiling, so he has to get it, and sadly, he slipped and tripped and fell by the time he finally got back when he thought he was about to die. Big accident, he tripped and fell and pretty much got this slow motion. This is when people started to hate it. We get this slow motion screenshot of pretty much Spongebob cutting into the floor of his own thumb getting a splinter. When he gets out, it's pretty much in there deep. He tries to get out, but it's very painful. So, let's pretty much see what happens next. He tries to do his work daily, which him, but he's having troubles. And pretty much, he's trying to good, try to hide it and everything. But Squidward eventually finds out and actually starts toying with him, making him think if Mr. Krabs finds out, he will send him home, the most horrible nightmare of them all. Okay, no, seriously. That's what does happen. But not exactly what I really mean. That's how Woodward makes Spongebob think, think. So, what exactly happens? Well, he tries to do a few ways to hide and everything. And try to get Squidward not to, but Squidward's just toying with him still. And so, pretty much, he eventually calls Patrick, which this is a lot of you have hated. Because let's start off what happens. Pretty much, he's in the garbage can. Well, of course, that's funny, of course. Then he starts pretty much making things that don't even work. Like Patrick is pretty much putting his SpongeBob's shoe in his mouth and pretty much saying, hmm, seems normal. And all that SpongeBob keeps just saying, this is unhealthy. And then he starts begging because Patrick is saying, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were a doctor. And pretty much what was going on next, well, pretty much he begged Patrick to help him. And pretty much he put garbage on his bum. Smash a hammer, which made it more swollen and everything, which just make it more disgusting. And when he put the garbage on it, it turned purple and spit out green goo, which made it even more disgusting for a lot of viewers. Of course, I will admit though, this episode really doesn't gross me out at all, because I'm really not that grossed out to this type of stuff, really. It has to be way more than that. But, besides all that, what happens next? Well... Spongebob eventually has no other choice but to confess to Mr. Krabs because Squibber told Mr. Krabs what happened. All that Mr. Krabs said, come on Spongebob, it's just a splinter, and when he showed his bum, a lot of people that actually did said they puked the first time when they saw this, and they were literally grossed out by it. Yeah, that's how gross it was. The first time you would ex the first time you would see it, you were expecting just seeing a splinter or just that little swollen thumb. But no, it turned this ugly, gooey, disgusting as red is. Trust me, if you haven't seen it, probably the best if you have a weak stomach. Because it could make you vomit. They puke, they vomit, you know what I mean. Besides that, Swiver faints, and then, pretty much, Mr. Krabs thinks, Okay, no problem, no problem at all. He pulls out the splinter really easy and say, Problem solved, confetti bursts out, and then buns of green slime. Mr. Krabs gets an umbrella, and it spawns back to normal. So pretty much, Mr. Krabs explained how it was worried I have to send you home with pay. Swibber realized that, wait, I can get home with the pain. He hurts himself on purpose. And pretty much, Mr. Krabs says, Nope, sorry Swibber, your ship ended two minutes ago. Swibber says, Oh. Yeah, I think you can only get sent home being hurt if you don't do it on purpose. And if you would only do get sent home without pay if you did it on purpose or something. Whatever. But other than that, that's pretty much why a lot of people hated this. Back in the back in those days, the writers were more focused about trying to get more gross detail out of this episode. Matter of fact, this episode about splinters should have been trying to teach kids that splinters are really not a big deal. Of course, sometimes they could hurt. Every time I got a splinter, though, I just had to focus on my thumb with the fingers of gang and and then just pull it out. It didn't really hurt at all. Yeah, splinters are really not a big deal, but. This show may look like it was honestly horrible and pretty much really painful. So pretty much this was one of the bad episodes. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this review of the Splinter and a little talk about it. But wait, 
Oh my god, I almost forgot something. Back when we were talking about Patrick, though, does anyone remember that old episode subs way back in season one? Believe it or not, that was one of the older episodes where pretty much every time SpongeBob said it didn't work, pretty much SpongeBob, I mean, Patrick would always try something to do something funny. I'm actually surprised, but I just want to bring that up for a quick second. But yeah, those were just back in the golden days when Patrick was playing as a daughter and they were way more funnier than now. So, other than that, pretty much I hope you did enjoy this r little review of this Splinter. Yes, until then, this is Justin Game Free 4, signing out. Until then, I'll see you all later. Bye!